can't be playing and not have our main goal poacher contributing to any form of ways. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today I wanted to ask a question as to why do our strikers perform better with their respective clubs as opposed to when they are with the national team? This seems to be a problem that's been persisting for a long time and today I kind of just want to give my thoughts and input as to why the case may be. But before we go ahead and begin, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help promote my channel to an audience looking to learn more about Moroccan football. But with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. So one of the main problems that was apparent throughout all of AFCON was that our strikers were not as reliable as we would have wanted them to be. Think we only had one goal come from our strikers option, which is pretty embarrassing considering that the strikers position, their main whole gimmick is that they need to be scoring goals, but we did not see that. And the only goal came in the first match against Tanzania, where in the series score. Since then, he did not provide any goal or assist throughout the rest of the tournament. And you know, Tisudale and El Kabi didn't either. But I'm not going to really shift all the blame on them just because they were not given the same amount of minutes as in this area was. But what is the problem? You got to think, they're not performing at the national team. But when you look at how they are performing for club level, it speaks completely different. You get a player like, let's look at in this area, seven goals. Tissudali has 9, El Kabi has 7, and even Hamdala, he has 10 goals this season. And that's that they're only halfway through the season and will likely continue to get more goals as they continue to venture forward into the season. Now, why did that these uh, goal scores, you know, for everything and all the technical ability they have, can't replicate the same form onto the national team? Well, there's a variety of things and we should probably touch on them. Being that the first one is when you think of an Asiri, for example, he's been with you know his club for some time and so have the rest. So they've had enough time and exposure to get a familiarity with their respective clubs. Know how the coach likes uh, the formation to be played and how to best utilize their strikers. And in the national team, you know, for all the training they've done, it's kind of hard because the way Regrani likes to play is more of a conservative style of play. It's not one where the striker is going to be the main role player. It's usually that everybody has to be in synchronization. Think of it like this. So Regrani usually likes to go for his 4-1-4-1 formation. I, Format that was beneficial in the World Cup where we saw the team needing to defend and be fluid in attack all at the same time. And yes, this did work at the World Cup, but there was something that was kind of crucial throughout that. It's that it wasn't really allowing the strikers the freedom that they need in order to be able to fully, you know, start scoring goals. So they were very limited, almost playing as a midfielder instead of a striker. And that same format kind of, you know, kept going into 2023 where... We're still seeing that problem. Yes, we've had some moments where we did get strikers goals, but if you look at all the matches that Morocco played throughout 2023, you'll see that most of our goals didn't come from our strikers, but in fact came from our midfielders or wingers. And that's just the thing. It feels like this niche is only fully benefiting those specific players and not our striker so it's really just limiting us in that specific position now Wally Regrai had that time done maybe a 4-3-3 formation and that's all good but say for a player like in a series that's not really his go-to he needs the ability to be able to shift left and right or 
have someone with them in the box to be able to help him create good goal scorer opportunity or be able to find someone who he can you know say he's in a sticky situation where he got multiple defenders on him he can easily pass the ball to the next person and be able to get the shot off but with him being say the sole striker in that 4-1-4-1 formation that i mentioned he is more optimized as the midfield and he is relying that everybody needs to be with him at all time in order to make that attack happen and say for that 4-3-3 for Mitch is very limiting in that he has to be in that center spot he can't really shift too much to the right or left just because the likes of Ziyech or Buffal are occupying those spots now maybe that formation doesn't work best I could look, probably see the likes of Tisu Dali and El Kabi who could very much benefit from this but we need to find a way to maximize it because as you look at things, if we're not getting the best out of our strikers, then honestly, it's not really beneficial because it's not going to be able to get the full team, you know, fully helping the national team. And it's not crucial because it's not really you know, setting the standards that Wally Rebrow wants to play. So finding a good formation, maybe he could try a 4-4-2 formation that would allow, you know, still to have those midfielder who can shift forward and as well as those left and right mid who can shift as wingers as well. So it would still create some good spacing. There'd be two strikers so they could help each other and ultimately be able to create more goal scoring opportunity. This format was very, you know, helpful in a sense when we had um, Vahid as our coach. He utilized this and it worked tremendously. You saw it throughout the whole, you know, World Cup qualification for the, you know, 2022 World Cup as well as the group qualification for the prior AFCON that we were shifting in a lot more goals then than we are now so he was getting the best out of everybody so if Wally Regrai can do the same thing then I do not see why we can't you know ultimately get the best out of our players so there you have it these are my thoughts and opinion as to why i believe the striker position may be a problem right now for the national team and what we should do in order to be able to correct it there's a lot of things that require needs to take into effect but i feel like getting the striker position you know locked and loaded is more essential it should be on the top three things that while i needs to fix because you know we can't be playing and not have our main goal poacher contributing to any form of way so being able to have them you know be the main focal point that will help us you know make sure that whenever we're in a sticky situation we can produce goals instead of trying to you know irrationally you know throw long balls in try to make things happen just out of desperation Wally Regrai needs to take full measures into how he can get the best out of his striker because if not we will just continue to see those games where we're probably a goal down and we're just exacerbating all our options in order to find you know a draw or at least trying to find a goal back to help us but of course i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions what do you think about uh this current situation do you think that it's just the players that you know they're not accustomed to Wally Regrai's tactics is it more defending minding that's really limiting the striker or do you feel like it could be something else I would love to hear your thoughts and opinion as always but more importantly I'm just glad that you all made it to the end of this video and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video take care everybody